Sip Fan Scouts here, and today we're going to be unboxing two more NASCAR 164 skill die casts that I received in the mail a little while ago. And yeah, and, and they are the Alex Bowman 2020 Planters 164 skill die casts. And we have my fourth 2021 car, and that is Chase Briscoe's 2021 High Point 164 skill die casts. So yeah, like I said, I received these both in the mail. And yeah, but I mean, I mean, I'm glad that, that I received these two. And yeah, but I mean, I mean, so I mean, once and we'll be doing an, an unboxing of these here. And yeah, but right here we're gonna start off with the Alex Bowman one right here. And yeah, let me just put the first go one right there. And yeah, so I mean, so I'll be I'll be right back with this diecast open up. Okay, guys, so now I got the diecast open up, and yeah, wow, I mean, okay, yeah, this thing looks really nice here. So yeah, so Alex Bowen ran this paint scheme for the for the Marsville playoff race last fall, which was also the semifinal race. And yeah, I believe he finished fifth in his paint scheme. And yeah, but I mean, unfortunately, he wasn't able to advance to the final four because he didn't have enough points. And yeah, but I mean, I mean, still that Marsville playoff race was really good in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, had a really good finish with Elliott winning and what happened to Harvick and Kyle in the last lap. And yeah, but I noticed this here. I mean, I believe this is a glitch here, but I mean. I mean, are you kidding me, Lionel? I mean, it looks like uh, the name right here above the the window net here, it looks like it could be crooked here. I mean, are you kidding me, Lionel? I mean, seriously, I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why Lionel's been doing this lately. But yeah, but I mean, I mean, they, and Plantis was on Chris Busher's car for uh, Kentucky back in 2019, but they didn't make a die cast of that. I mean, I wish they would because they made this one. But yeah, but I mean, hopefully maybe Planters can sponsor another car this year, but we don't know if they're going to sponsor one yet. But yeah, I mean, we'll just see. I mean, yeah, and 2020 was also the last season for the 88 year. Yeah, because now the 88 has been retired, and then now they renumbered it to the 5. And for, if you heard that noise right now, it was just a notification. And yeah, just ignore that. But now I'm going to move this diecast over to the side. Yeah, and now we are going to move on to the Chase Briscoe diecast here that right here and yeah this is now my fourth 2021 uh, 2021 diecast here and yeah so i'll be right back with this diecast open up okay guys so now i got the last diecast open up and wow this thing looks uh, i think this thing right here looks really clean here yeah it looks really nice yeah you can see the rookie stripes on the back and yeah so so far chase brisco has run this paint scheme from several races this year and he's mostly going to run this thing more this year since high point was one of his sponsors when he was an xfinity driver and yeah but i mean i knew after when clint boyer announced his retirement i knew chase briscoe would go to this car here because he uh, he uh, he uh, and people thought he would still go to this car because he was still in H shr equipment back in xfinity that's how i thought he was going to be in this one i mean they were supposed to make this high point car uh, for when he was in the 98 last year but unfortunately that die cast actually got canceled which was kind of unfortunate because I wanted to get that die cast. And yeah, but I mean, I'm glad they made this one here. Yeah, there's no mistakes on this one here. I mean, you can see the rookie straps on the back. Yeah, it just looks really clean here. Yeah, the front looks nice. Yeah, but I mean, SHR so far this year has been has not been running that well. Except for Harvick, though. I mean, Harvick's been running good, even though I don't like him. I mean, Chase Briscoe only has one top 10 this year, and that was at Circuit of the Americas when the race got called, and he was running six at the time, which is his best career finish now. But I hope Chase Briscoe will improve this season. I mean, who knows? Maybe he can do, like, what Cole Custer did last year when he was improving, and then he just and he ended up winning Kentucky. But I don't think Briscoe's going to win a race this year, but we'll just see. I especially hope the same for Custer as well, since Custer has not been running so well this year. Especially Eric Alvarez, since he's been having so much bad luck this year. I mean, literally, I mean, he has five DNFs and, like, three last place finishes. I mean, that is just, that is just unlucky there. But, I mean, Alvarez won the Open yesterday. So, I mean, maybe that's good there. I mean, maybe he could do, like, what he did last summer where he had a top ten streak. I mean, I forgot how long it went, but hopefully Alvarez, though, can improve. So, that way he can have a shot at making the playoffs. I mean, I predict that Almore will make the playoffs, but if he's going to do that, he's definitely got to win a race or just have, like, I don't know, I mean, 10 top 10s in a row. He's going to need that there if he wants to make the playoffs. 
and yeah, but I mean, I mean, yeah, Briscoe, Custer, and uh, and Alvaro are behind you know, the top the top twenty in points. So if they want to make the top twenty, they have to improve. But yeah, but I mean, we'll just see how things go for the team. I mean, uh, I only dislike Harvick, but I predicted Harvick to go winless this year. But I have a feeling I could be, be I could get that wrong. But I mean, we'll just see what happens for the rest of the year. I mean, we only have like maybe eight races to go until the playoffs, but I'm not sure how near left, but yeah. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for this NASCAR Diecast unboxing video here. And yeah, so I mean, I mean, there's supposed to be another Diecast shipment later this month, and in that shipment, there's, there's supposed to be a few 2021s in there, so I'm probably gonna get a few of them, but I'll just see what I'll get here. But yeah, but I mean, it'll be, it'll probably be, eh, the shipment will probably have it on maybe I believe June 21st, but I'm not sure if that's right. But I mean, we'll just see when is the shipment. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. And just remember guys, tomorrow I'm also, I'm also going to be going to watch trains tomorrow. And yeah, and also if uh, if you guys uh, didn't know, I actually did a stream route event today. And that one was an hour and 40 minutes. So if you want to go uh, go watch it, it, it was actually, it was, it's on my channel and it's at, uh, on the live stream part. And yeah, but I mean, I'm still deciding when's going to be my next stream route event, but I'll just see when I'll do it. I mean, maybe the next one may not be until maybe July, but I'll, I'll see. But yeah. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.